I'm back. So, I have something a little fun today. It's kind of like a little game. I am going to pick a number and pick a color. I want to kind of keep it like I'm not making, I mean, I am making decisions, but not really. So, you know, you want to think every day what to do. Basically, I wanted to use my Arteza um, paints. Again, I miss them. I really, really love them. And um, I was thinking, okay, what can I do with them? You know, and I was thinking of a puddle pour. I'm like, eh, it's kind of boring the house. So I wanted to use my little huge needle again. And someone in the comments, please tell me what the heck this is really called. Because I don't know. It's, I'm assuming, to inject flavor into meat, like a roast or something, or a turkey. Yeah, it's a huge needle, uh, but I really, really love the way um, my paintings come out with this, so I actually like to go back to this sometimes. Um, this is a 16 by 20 canvas, because with this guy, it does hold a lot of paint, and a small canvas really isn't going to do it for this, and I ran out of 10 by 20s, which I used with this before. So, in this box, with the Arteza, um, the uh, premixed acrylics, okay, uh, the pouring acrylics, there is 32 colors. Well, there's four, they give you four whites and two uh, black paints, okay? And the reason why I only have up to 30 is because these two are pretty much empty. There's a little bit in each, so if I pick them, um, I'm not going to be really, I'm going to be like, going, you know, I'm this barely anything in them. So I'm not including these two white. And I don't want that much white in the painting either. I don't want to pick white possibly four times. All right. So I'm going to put these to the side because uh, they are almost done. So in my little uh, holiday Christmassy container here, I have 30 uh, numbers, okay? I have the numbers 1 through 30 written on little pieces of paper, and because this is a big canvas, and, you know, um, I may have to fill this up twice. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to pick 10 numbers, okay, by random, and I have numbered all these paints, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know what no, what color is in here? So number one, I have no idea what that is. Number 23, I have no idea what that is. Because when I use them, I certainly did not put them back in the order where they came. And I certainly didn't remember what order they were in when they came in the box. So I really don't know what number to what color is in here right now. I have no idea. Okay? So this could be totally by random. So I'm going to pick... 10 numbers, 10 different colors, just in case if I have to use this guy twice, all right? So then, you know, I'll fill up with five colors because I think it should be able to hold five different colors, just a little bit each, you know? Just a little bit, a little bit. Otherwise, it starts spilling out, you know, and then it becomes a mess. All right, so that's what I am going to do. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to open this guy up real quick, if I can open it. Oh, okay, that was easier. So, what number? I don't want to look. I know you can't tell, but I'm not looking. I'm just sticking my hand in here, really. All right, so number 11 is first. Oh, please. Don't. Oh, it's white. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it's white. Okay. Number 12. Okay. Did I not shake these up right? Please don't let it be another white. Okay, cool. It is pastel yellow. Okay. Oops. All right. Let me not look. Number nine. Where are you, number nine? There you go. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. So 
So we got some gold. Two more for the first one. Whoop. Whatever that one is. Number 14. Where are you? Oh, cool. Silver gray. And one more for the first one. Number 20. Where are you? There you go. Oh, that is funny. Okay. Mid yellow. Wow, that was kind of cool. We got a lot of yellows in here. See what happens? It's cool. Love that. All right, so take those numbers off. So that'll be in the first little injection. And just in case, I don't want to have to do this again and go back and um, choose more in the middle of the painting because that won't be fun and or cool. So I'm going to pick five more just in case. All right. Number 25. There you go. Ah, black. Okay. Cool. All right. Number 29. Oh, nice. I love this color. So happy. Sea green. Okay. All right. Number 17. All right. Silver. Okay, cool. Two more. Number three. All right, where are you, buddy? Cool. I love gray and yellow. If you know my other videos, I've said this a million times. Is this? Yeah. Okay, very cool. I picked a lot of yellows today. And one more. And number five. All right, what are you, buddy? Oh, wow. Okay, bronze. So I got, like, all... Did I get all the metallics? Cool. Sorry, it's dirty, but this is bronze. Just believe me. All right. All right, cool. So, these are the colors we're using today. And I will just list them all in the description uh, below, okay? And so that's that part. We picked our colors. And just letting you know, I am going to coat the canvas, not with my... Uh, coffee cup but with um this guy here okay this is the serum coat white and it does have flow troll in it okay that's what that is and that is my flow troll that i have strained already okay i am not putting as as if you don't know I'm going to pour directly out of the bottle today into the little needle because these guys, um, you really, you cannot add any water and it's really better off if you don't add any uh, pouring medium because they are pretty fluid. I'm just going to like shake them up a bit off camera a little bit, you know, because they've been sitting for a while. I haven't used them in a few, maybe about a week or so. So I'm just going to shake it a little bit. Um, not too much, and I don't want too many air bubbles, and we're going to get started, all right? All right, so I will be back in a minute, and I'm going to coat my uh, 16 by 20 canvas, probably with my little spatula, and I will go and set this up, and I will be back in a minute, guys. All right, hope this works out. Okay, see you in a minute.
said there's some channels out there and I think that's great they give the information um, like how much paint to that you are you know, how big your can best the ratio I don't do that I eyeball it if I make a mistake it's all good you know seriously 
Um, I just had to add, you know, I had to fix the edges a bit. Um, even off camera, I had to fix the edges. I had to add more white. I had to kind of smooth it out. It's still not, you know, perfect, but it ain't all about perfection. But I like this. It's pretty cool. And I'm just noticing now some greens popping up. This has been sitting here for a few minutes. Some of the white. Uh, probably the serum coat is popping through, which I really like that effect. Um, I love all the colors in here. That sea green did pop up that much. I think it's up here. But oh, if you saw me straw, I did put in the white in the first um, two needle go around. Um, that's because I did not open the bottle. Ha ha ha. So I didn't put the white in the first uh, needle. I put it in the second one. I opened it up. The matrix is everywhere. Yeah. Things happen, like I said. But I think Even it's pretty now, cool. Very room, I enjoy you see it when you you know, doing the little kind of like or pick a number, pick a color game. Um, yeah, because sometimes you. Know, you it's like you're choosing, you're not really choosing, it's you're kind of like fake, choosing the colors for you, um, after doing that leftover paint painting I did, uh, I believe yesterday, um, yeah, it's like I want to some, some, somehow take more of my decision making out of it and be a little bit more free, you know, uh, Art is about freedom, and I know myself, even since I was a very young kid, I took it real serious. If things weren't perfect, I would get frustrated, um, and being frustrated in your art, it really isn't fun, because the joy is taken out of it. So I like this kind of method of choosing colors. I don't know how it is often I'll do it, but maybe, you know, I'll, I'll do it once in a while. I think it's fun. But next time, at least, I'll know that on a canvas of this size, 16 by 20, I'll need three needles full of paint because it was kind of hard to stretch out. I had to add a lot more white to the edges to kind of get it to, you know, cover somewhat evenly. Like I said, I have to fix the edges a little more. Um, but, you know, I'm not into perfection anymore. I want to stop doing that. So I hope you enjoyed it. I think this is pretty cool. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate it to all my new subscribers. Hi there. How are you? For everyone who has been here for a while, thank you for your continuing support. I really appreciate all your comments. And I will see you in the next one, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a little comment. And subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, forget to hit the notification bell so you'll never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.